I think it's, uh, you know, kind of full recognition of himself and all the other Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, he's a pretty intense guy anyway, and he doesn't like, never like people telling him no in the first place. And usually when somebody told him no, that just makes him want to do it that much more. So it really was a consuming passion to him to, uh, to get into the Army Air Corps as a, as a pilot. And uh, he, he never gave up. As far as becoming a, an, an Army Air Corps pilot, uh, you know, it was at the time he was a young man growing up in Hackensack, in Lodi and Hackensack, New Jersey. And from the time he was probably seven or eight years old, he knew that's what he wanted to do. You know, by yourself, you're extremely vulnerable. And I think that was kind of his philosophy of life, too. By yourself, you're extremely vulnerable and not nearly as productive as you could be otherwise. Uh, never, I think it was, you know, more his way of saying never lose sight of the goal. I've been to a lot of funerals here at Arlington for friends, relatives, other Tuskegee Airmen, that sort of thing, uh, comrades, and uh, it's a little different when it's your family. So, uh, you know, uh, it's a little different when you're the one sitting in one of those green chairs by the coffin when they're playing taps. In 1941, after the, after the middle of the school year, I, uh, I, I went to Tuskegee. We would be the first one in the squadron. I am Span Watson, Lieutenant Colonel of the United States Air Force, retired. A Tuskegee Airman, 